How's it going? Hope you all are doing alright today. Y'all doing alright today? Doing alright, yeah. Getting through the week. Getting through the semester. <laughs> Do you all have any questions over anything? Doing good, doing good, can't complain. You know, except for all the virus BS, but you know, beyond the normal stuff. I do look forward to teaching in the classroom again. I don't know if I said that already. But. <laughs> well, some positive stuff about vaccines coming out, which is good. But they're still probably a couple months away, but it's encouraging. Yeah, the the holidays are probably going to be a, an issue as far as the spread. So. Well, we scheduled our classes to be in class, like just everyone with masks and stuff, but I don't know. The way it is right now, I don't I don't think we could seriously bring students to campus. Um, that's what they want to do though. But on a large scale it's gonna be uh, difficult. I mean, if we get some uh, decreases after the holidays, it, you know, it'd be nice. Just hope it doesn't get worse than it is. <laughs> it's pretty bad in a lot of states right now. <sighs> it's all good, man. In this class, no, but in your regular business math class, yes. 
I will be able to take some time like that last week after Thanksgiving we can work on the review review questions if we need to um, so whenever you get those feel free to, to ask me anything on those and we'll work on it I think most of the reviews that we have now are basically practice tests that really just show you the, the type of problems that are going to be on the final and will be similar problems, similar questions, I guess, as far as how they're asked, but they'll change up the numbers slightly and things like that. So, uh, but yeah, for us, all we, you know, part of your grade in this class is your exam grade from the other class. I have those three homeworks I took up, which I guess I ought to grade. <laughs> and then, uh, what else? Attendance, which I'll be honest, I haven't really been keeping attendance for like the last month or two. So, but I appreciate y'all checking in every day because I at least have a record of it digitally, if not on you know one location in case I need to figure it out. Y'all you you all seem like you have a ton of work for the other class because I see everyone you know, turning stuff in like uh, through Canvas all the time because I get those notifications for the other class since I'm registered as teacher for your other class just so I can see what they're doing, what you're doing over there. Um, it seems like you have a ton of stuff that you're turning in every week. Is that going all right? It's okay, Brent. We only have like two and a half weeks left. <laughs> Get through it. I remember y'all saying it was a pretty uh, convoluted. Uh, Canvas site that she built there. Yeah, mastery quiz stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's really, that's really why I don't want to give y'all more stuff to do here. <laughs> you know, too much more. Um. It's, I can see what y'all are working on over there, and it's it's a lot. Isn't the mastery quiz stuff what makes up your exam grade, basically? Yes, that's what that's my understanding as well. Yeah, you saw the final exam, which will probably be what twenty five percent, give or take. difficult for a reason not because the class is necessarily as difficult but
How's the how was the lecture yesterday? Oh yeah, ab absolutely. It's it's not my favorite thing to do because I'm basically uh, I'm talking to a camera and hoping y'all are watching, but. Uh, my classes, at least, some some of them are a little bit better than others as far as uh, responding to me during the lecture. Like if they have questions or comments, or, or if I ask them a question, have them respond. Some of my classes are good, and a couple of them are just uh, I think they're just there to watch the video after the fact. So, uh, but it, it's fine. It's fine. I'm not going to require that someone be there for the lecture, although I prefer it. But, you know, as long as they watch the lecture either live or on video, that's fine. You know. So what sections did you all do yesterday in class? We'll still have class on Monday next week, Brenda, but not Wednesday. So we just have today, Monday next week, and then the two days the following week. Really at this point I'm just here to help you all with whatever you need getting ready for that final and passing. Okay. Well, I, I figured that's what y'all are going to do, but that, that's good that uh, that helped Luke. Thank you. Do you have any homework questions that you'll need advice on or assistance? Or we can introduce logarithms as an alternative. So, did y'all get into 4.2 yesterday with the applications, or is it more just 4.1? Exponential growth. Okay. Exponential growth. That's probably 4.2 then, yeah, yeah. I don't know what else I can do to 
uphill there because it's, it's really just a continuation of uh, it's a continuation of 4.1 it's all the same things it's just now we do some more applications essentially which is not bad um, Let me just show you all one of those problems and see what we have there. Suppose you owe fifteen hundred dollars on your credit card. And you decide to make no new purchases to make the minimum monthly payment on the account. Assuming the interest rate on the card is 1.1% per month, which is uh, this is not bad for a credit card. Uh, the worst ones are in the in the in line with uh, 2.25 percent per month. So you know that's half of that. Um, and the minimum payment is five percent of the total balance plus interest. Luckily, we don't have to create this formula because they've given it to us already. So we have to end up with the formula R of T is fifteen hundred times point nine six zero four to the T power. Okay. So, question A, find, find the balance at five months, Oops. balance at five months. So if we want the balance of five months, that that's just the value we plug in for t here. So r of five will be fifteen hundred times point nine six zero four to the fifth power. Main thing we want to do here is is follow the order of operations and do the exponent first, and then multiply by the fifteen hundred. So take. Uh, 0.9604 raise it to the fifth power and then multiply that by 1500 means after five months you're down to a balance of uh, twelve hundred twenty five dollars and sixty one cents okay And if there's any doubt, always remember credit card companies round up. So, um, it's, it's not a good thing to get behind on. Um, B, one year. Uh, That's a, a bot that drops by occasionally just to spam some message. 
you can just ignore them. I don't know if there's like a report option, but yeah. <laughs> no, not really, actually. Um, I think with just my teaching, I've already qualified for what they call affiliate, which is not quite the same as a, um, it's like a second tier membership if I wanted to do that, but I don't want to show you all commercials just to watch uh, class and then I earn a couple of bucks. That seems unscrupulous. <laughs> and also potentially illegal. For me to, to profit from something I'm already being paid to do. So, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it would certainly be of questionable uh, morals if I <laughs> streamed this. So, if I stream class like as people stream video games where they. Uh, become a subscriber by paying money and then uh, membership tiers and <laughs> crazy stuff like that so <laughs> don't start accepting donations as a teacher you know I know teachers don't make a I need some hair dye I need a better uh, I need a gaming chair too to sit in <laughs> need a second monitor yeah anyway Um, no, I don't have the patience for doing all that stuff that they have to do. Um, uh, but that's their main hustle. More power to them. I, I couldn't do that. The, all the people that uh, managed to make a living off of Twitch, which is probably not as many people as we think, but... It is cool to be able to make some money playing games, but if you if you make something your job, I think it becomes less enjoyable. Um, <laughs> it would be funny, but uh, yeah. Anyway, I was gonna say something. I forgot what I was gonna say. Yeah, I'm a little, little too old to be getting into that game, I think. I mean, I, probably not, but I don't care enough to get into that game, I think. Uh, what I was going to say is, you know, I, I know teachers don't make enough money, but I actually am pretty happy with where I'm at, and uh, I can't complain, so I'm not going to try to use the platform to hustle some more money. <laughs> in that situation, especially from people who already paid to uh, learn from me. I'm not going to make you pay twice. It's silly and questionable. Um, in this case, when we say the, the balance at one year, uh, remember that uh, T is measured by months, so we would have to convert that to 12 months when we plug that into the formula. Um, so we'll raise that to the 12th and then multiply by uh, 1500, so point nine six zero four to the 12th equals and then times 1500 so we're down to after 12 months $923.67 and then part C is the balance paid off in two years Well, 
Well, two years, that would be 24 months. So we'll just repeat that with 24 instead of anything else. So I'm going to bet it's not, but we'll calculate it precisely. Got a good ways down. It's down to like 568.78. Notice when we're rounding here, I'm going to two decimal places since we're talking about uh, money. Some financial institutions will go further than two decimal places and just give you a rounded value as they try to squeeze every cent out of you possible. But uh, usually two decimal places is fine, for, at least for our purposes. So, um, so yeah, you know, paying minimum balance or minimum payment for two years, you're still not able to pay off $1,500 on the credit card. Um, the moral of the story is one, don't let your credit cards get out of control, but two, the minimum payment is a trap that um, they usually put in there um, just to keep you paying and keep you in debt. So you'll, you'll, it'll take years to pay off a, a balance with a minimum payment. And this is only $1,500. It could be a lot worse. Um, when I was in graduate school, I got into, well, I had needed credit cards to help survive and pay for stuff, you know, books and uh, other things that I needed. Uh, I needed to buy a computer because I didn't have one going into graduate school. Um, and, it, and I was still not living on campus because you don't want me to be living on campus as a grad student. It just feels weird. Um, so I needed a computer, so I bought that on a credit card, and, and which was understandable. Um, anyway, you know, three years of grad school later, <coughs> a lot of uh, <coughs> a lot of accumulated debt. They only worked uh, part time for a few years. Now, when I say part time, I still teaching at college, but not as a full-time teacher, just uh, as what we call an adjunct teacher. And so I wasn't making a lot of money, so I wasn't really paying off my debt. So I about, had about five years there just carrying this credit card debt. Probably took another five years just to pay it off. Maybe not that much, but once I got hired full-time at Menlo College, it was uh, a lot easier to pay it off because I was making more money for one thing. But uh, I was so much, it was so much uh, nicer once I paid that off and then I was able to get a little bit further out of debt. I paid off my student loans last year, I believe. I believe it was last year. Um, so that was nice. Um, I know that's better than a lot of people are doing, so always keep that in mind but uh, cost of education is crazy so, it's only gotten worse over the years too since I was in college so I don't envy y'all uh, and I hope hope you are doing all right Uh, for some studies have said the cost of education, a lot, a lot of it is increasing. Um, I started at Austin College, which is up in Sherman, north of Dallas. It's a private college. Um, yeah, constant inflation does that. Uh, it was a private college, still is a private college, but at the time, what I paid to go there is about what you would pay now to go to like A&M, Tech, UT. It's about the same price back then as those are now. So it wasn't terrible is basically what I'm saying. Uh, I had about half of my uh, money, uh, half of my tuition and fees were paid through uh, scholarships. And the other half basically through, through loans. So and then I went to Texas Tech for my graduate school, got my master's at Texas Tech. 
that was 2001, which was a, that was a weird year anyway, but, but yeah, a lot of the, the fees have gone up steadily since I was in college. Was, uh, my grad school was only like, it was less than 10000 a year at Texas Tech. Um, it was, and that was like when you consider all the books and everything else on top of that. Um, nowadays, it's closer to 20000 a year. From what I've understand, it's uh, hiring like additional layers of management, <laughs> which is sounds silly, but uh, you know additional vice presidents, additional uh, creating new positions, creating new levels of management between you know above faculty but below like the college president. And, that's what's really driven a lot of the increase in price and it's probably management levels that we don't need anyway for a large part but we have them I guess we, we've created additional red tape in the system which is unfortunate but uh, anyway there's there's more things that college colleges have to do now uh, but I feel like technology has uh, is the burden quite a bit but you need people to manage different uh, parts of that I guess but the layers of management Midland College has gotten a little bit better over the past couple of years as vice presidents have been retired and not replaced but uh, apparently it's really bad at universities and then textbook t costs on top of that are, have gotten a lot worse too Yeah, yeah, they've grown quite a bit. When I was there, it was only about um, 15, 20,000 students. And I, I know they wanted to get to 40,000 by this year. And I don't, I don't know if they made it, but they sure tried like heck to grow. Um, but yeah, the public colleges used to be really cheap, you know, and these, you know, you could pay three or four thousand dollars a semester and you'd be going to UT Austin or something you know that uh, that's, that's now more like uh, eight or nine thousand a semester and that's just in 20 years it's, you know you go back 40 years and, and it's uh, laughable how much cheaper it used to be because you, you'll see things, I've, I see things my friends post on Facebook, like, uh, that are also teachers from other colleges and universities, um, comparing the, the price of an education to the minimum wage and how ridiculous it has changed. So. so, yeah, we've seen cost increase, but we haven't seen uh, similar increases elsewhere to justify that. Yes, yeah, it's kind of a mess right now. Well, what I wanted to go through here is just give you an idea of what the section is going to be. Um, and as you can see, a lot of it's just plugging in values and comparing results and drawing conclusions. Plugging in values is not going to be difficult because it's just using your calculator properly. So, and I assume by now, if you got through that chapter five or and you survive that okay, then you probably are okay with your calculator, so that shouldn't be a problem. 
Um, <clears throat> there's a few different things here, but you know it doesn't change much beyond that. Um, I don't know else what I can do here. Hmm. Yeah, there's not much else to do here that is meaningful. I suspect you might actually move into section three tomorrow, but I don't know how much I should preview that. I might save that for Monday. Uh, we'll talk more about logarithms then, uh, rather than today. Um, I don't know. Do you have any questions? Actually, I went to the same college. Uh, I said I went to Austin College. That, that's actually where uh, Mrs. Nisley graduated, also with her bachelor's. We were there at entirely different times, though, because I'm like, you know, eight or ten years older than she is. But I don't, I don't remember how the difference in our age. But I just know I was there ahead of her by a fair margin. But. Uh, we did graduate from the same college. I don't know where she got her master's, but mine was from Texas Tech. So I enjoyed living in Lubbock. It was not bad. It's pretty similar to Midland, just bigger, windier. I didn't have the best apartment, but, you know, it was not bad, and I was able to live there and enjoy it more or less, so it was fine. we're going to make any more progress today. Um, so we might just stop there. And I know you'll appreciate when we stop early because I I see I, I get notifications like during the following period where you're turning the stuff for the other class. So um, I know you all are working on stuff at least, which is good. So it's not like this time is wasted. But uh, Yeah, I think we'll leave it there, and um, on Monday we'll actually sp we'll spend a little bit more time working on uh, logarithms because that's that's a pretty important but also difficult topic. So um, definitely want to prepare y'all for that for for Tuesday, um, and, and you may get started on it tomorrow, and you may have questions on it still on Monday. So I think that'll be good in that regard so yeah just Monday but not Wednesday next week mm -hmm. uh, well realistically the, the college normally closes at noon on Wednesday before Thanksgiving since our class goes across that I mean, we could meet for an hour but why not just not meet that's even better I think <laughs> So, yeah, yeah, I w I, it just feels weird to, okay, well, our class goes from 11 to 1, technically, but, uh, I couldn't, I don't want to be that guy that holds class, like, as the college closes for the holiday. <laughs> so, yeah, I've, I've never never had that uh, 11 o'clock class before Thanksgiving on Wednesday. So, 
if I do, uh, what I tell them is I'll, I'll be there if they have questions, and then no one has, no one shows up to ask questions, so I just hang out in my office and then go home. So that's what normally happens on a Wednesday before Thanksgiving for me. So, Y'all take care. I will. Uh, Most people shouldn't be traveling, though. That's the thing. <laughs> well, you know, yeah, and normally, yeah. But yeah, y'all take care. Um, uh, have a good weekend, and I'll see you Monday.